Objectives lost. Move in. I tag those positions. Falling behind. Allied UAV overhead. Uh, Enemy has the lead. How's it going guys, Chris here. Call of Duty Modern Warfare has finally been released, and I've pretty much been on it non-stop for the past week, trying out all the different things it has to offer, and I have to say that I've got some very mixed opinions on the game, because although it technically should be the game of all wanted from the COD franchise for years, I've honestly had a bit of an awkwardly inconsistent experience with it so far. I do have to say that the campaign is one of the stronger elements of Modern Warfare, because it's actually pretty good. It's nothing groundbreaking, and it still doesn't beat the classic COD 4 campaign. I mean, the story itself isn't exactly a masterpiece, but it's definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of single player modes, being one of the better COD campaigns in recent memory, in my honest opinion anyway. It still follows a linear format, just like basically every other COD game, but it's a nice throwback to some of the older Modern Warfare titles, having a similar kind of gritty atmosphere and design, brushing over some pretty brutal controversial topics. Plus, it also gives the game a chance to highlight its graphics and animations, which come together in a nice package that's very easy on the eye. Modern Warfare is by far the best looking game in the franchise so far. The attention to detail is on another level, particle effects are top notch, and basically everything looks a lot more realistic and less game-like than we've seen in the past. And although its story still follows a pretty traditional format, this graphics boost definitely helps to make the game more satisfying to play helping to build immersion and make you feel like you're in a live combat zone. But let's move away from the single player and talk a bit more about that multiplayer, which is of course the bread and butter of the franchise and the main thing that everyone typically buys Call of Duty for. Now this is where things start to get a little bit cloudier, because Modern Warfare basically has all the right ingredients to be a very tasty multiplayer shooter, it's got a load of beefy guns that feel satisfying to use, upgraded graphics, a variety of modes that we all know and love, a super detailed customization system that lets you pimp your guns out with a massive array of attachments and cosmetics, allowing you to create some really interesting classes. And of course, it's got those familiar but serious Modern Warfare vibes that we all praise COD 4 for. Sounds like a win-win on paper, doesn't it? But the reality is, from my honest opinion, the game just isn't as fun to play. Don't get me wrong, I don't think it's a terrible multiplayer shooter, there's definitely some fun to be had with it, especially if you get put into a lobby where people are actually willing to move around the maps and play the objective. But in comparison to past titles, Modern Warfare takes itself a hell of a lot more seriously when it comes to competitive play, and it's kind of sacrificed the fast and frantic style of gameplay that a lot of players enjoy in favour of promoting more realistic strategies and tactical things, such as constantly being on your guard and checking every single possible sightline for enemy threats as you slowly edge your way around the game's perilous maps. If you follow my channel, you might have seen another video I put up during the beta, going over some concerns I have with the game's design and map layouts, basically saying how it could potentially have a pretty big camping problem going forward. But now the game's properly out, this is kind of evident. But the worst thing is, the maps that were shown off in the beta were actually some of the better maps that we've now got in the final game. I think as time goes on and as people learn to get around the maps, aggressive playstyles might become a bit more common. But as far as it goes, if you're someone who likes to run and gun or make risky moves to get rewarded by your own skill and aim, then this game is likely going to disappoint and punish you, because it's definitely designed with defensive players in mind, which means you've constantly got to be on high alert and essentially slow down all of your movements if you want to stay alive. A lot of the maps don't flow very well, and I can safely say that some of the maps in Modern Warfare, like Piccadilly and Euphrates Bridge, are probably a few of the worst in the whole franchise, which covers a hell of a lot of multiplayer arenas. There's massive penalties for readying up your gun when moving quickly, lots of sightlines from many doors, windows, hidden paths and corners that often have enemies perched there, looking out for the next poor bugger to run past, who they can shoot down. Coupled with the fact that the time to kill is also lightning fast, and most of the time, the guy who pulls the trigger first is usually going to be the winner of that gunfight. But of course, that last part is kind of common in a lot of Call of Duty games. It's very hard to react to players shooting at you from unexpected angles, and there also seems to be a general lack of cover in a lot of the key areas on most of the maps. 
Some sections are literally wide open spaces overlooked by windows, and it can be a real struggle to actually navigate around the maps without using smoke grenades, which also have the downside of giving your position away. You can't just jump online, chill out with a few beers and have a few fast and fun matches after a long day at work, like you could do before on most of the other COD games, cause you're just going to end up dying over and over and over again. Because of the way the game is designed, and the way its maps are laid out, it basically means that you've got to play super seriously and play very cautiously all the bloody time, even if that means planting your ass in a corner and gunning people down as they run into your sights, cause camping is unfortunately the most reliable way to do well. But now I know what a lot of you might be thinking, all Call of Duty games, or well pretty much all FPS games, have their fair share of campers, and this strategy, if you want to call it a strategy, certainly isn't anything new. I think the reason why it's much more of an issue in Modern Warfare is down to the fact that the game's design encourages you to camp and play extremely slowly, otherwise quite simply you're going to die a bloody lot. Rushing enemy positions isn't as effective as it was in the past, covering open ground is always extremely risky, and because a lot of people in the lobby are just so focused on staying alive to earn killstreaks, this enforces those defensive strategies more than ever and punishes the players who want to push forwards, navigate around the map and generally play with an aggressive mindset. And being a pretty aggressive player myself, this doesn't really make it a particularly satisfying experience. Along with the fact that there's pretty much claymores everywhere, which are basically little planted bombs on the floor that trigger when you walk past them, making most buildings even harder to advance through without getting blown to bits, giving the campers more tools to keep on doing what they do best. Claymores can be countered with a certain perk where you can see them through walls, but by shooting them or blowing them up with a nade, you're basically just alerting the nearby camper in the same building of your presence, giving them a clear invitation to sit there with their sights lined up with the doorway you're just about to tiptoe through. Not exactly a very tactical thing to do after all. It can often be the case of who has the better power position wins, though I do have to say that some modes are generally better than others for encouraging players to do something more productive than just sitting around camping all day. Team Deathmatch is by far the campiest, sweatiest mode of the bunch as it's literally just hide and seek with guns with everyone grinding kills to try and get those streaks. Domination on the other hand is a bit more palatable, incentivizing players to venture around the map a bit more to capture the B flag in the middle, which is usually a super risky thing to do, often guarded by other players, but still encourages people to flank around rather than stay in the same spot nevertheless. I actually find that the headquarters game mode works pretty well with Modern Warfare's design, where players from both teams have to capture a single objective on the map, which moves around as the game goes on and this is down to the mode pretty much forcing players to move out of those camping spots and work with the rest of their team, or at least try and work with the rest of their team. It helps to condense the action into smaller areas and often allows you to coordinate flanks using other parts of the map, which will be typically guarded by enemy players on other game modes. So in a way, headquarters can sometimes feel like a fun blend of tactics and team play, all whilst keeping the action alive. It's always been one of my favourite COD modes in the past, and it looks like it's still going to be so this time around too. Now there's one specific mode that's been getting a lot of attention in the media and stuff because it's basically Call of Duty's attempt at creating a Battlefield-like experience, and because I am generally more of a Battlefield player, it'd be a bit rude if I didn't give my opinions on it. So the mode I'm talking about here is of course Ground War, which in the past was basically a larger version of TDM and Domination on the game's existing maps, containing up to 18 players at a time. But in Modern Warfare, it's basically a straight up copy and paste of Battlefield's Conquest mode, where 64 players Yep, the same number of players typically found on a battlefield server must navigate around large maps, take over flags dotted around said maps, and basically win the game by doing so. There's a few vehicles thrown into the mix, and you're even placed in small squads of teammates who can all be spawned on. All sounds pretty familiar, doesn't it? But does Call of Duty do what Battlefield does better? In short, no. I honestly don't think the new revamped Ground War is a particularly bad game mode. It does follow a similar kind of pattern that the Battlefield games do, and despite it being less developed and a lot more limited, it can still be a fairly enjoyable experience. Just expect to get killed from unexpected angles quite a lot, especially if you keep wandering off into open space, as pretty much every window has a sniper in it. It's definitely not got as much depth as Battlefield's Conquest, and there's only three ground war maps to pick from at the moment, but as a supplement to the rest of the game, it's not really all that bad, just don't expect it to be anything revolutionary. So basically, quickly summarising my experience with the game so far, it's been a bit of a mixed bag, definitely not as fun as I thought it was going to be. Could be down to my aggressive playstyle getting in the way of things, 
could be down to a possible skill-based matchmaking system getting in the way of things too. But I generally find that the multiplayer's design doesn't really fit right with COD's arcade meta, and the whole tactical realism approach just sometimes gets in the way a bit, and encourages very slow, methodical, campy playstyles, which isn't very fun to be up against. A lot of the maps don't flow very well, and it can be frustrating if you're not playing in a particular way. But rest assured, I still have fun with the game, as its gunplay, graphics, animations and customization features are some of the most profound in the series so far. There's quite a few things I haven't touched upon in this video, like the 2v2 gunfight mode and some of the other game modes, because I don't think you really need to hear me blabbering all day about every single thing in the game. Because generally speaking, the gameplay is pretty similar across the board, slower paced and downright brutal. Campaign is definitely worth checking out, but the multiplayer might be a bit hit or miss for a lot of people. So there it is folks, my general opinions on Modern Warfare. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to be the first to see new content coming up in the future, and thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Take it easy, and I'll see you in the next episode.